If you're using Ideogram to create designs for print on demand, then I have 10 Ideogram prompts that I'm going to share with you. Now, I do also have 100 Ideogram prompts as a little freebie. And if you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description. You get 50 t-shirt prompts and also 50 stickers. Now, one thing I do quickly want to say about using Ideogram prompts, and that is, do not copy and paste these prompts or any Ideogram prompts for that matter. What you want to do is edit and modify these prompts to make them more unique. Now, I have a video all about that, and what I'll do is link that down in the description. So, the first one which I want to share with you is this design just here. This says, just a little moody. And as we can see, it's a really nice design. We have a font down here, which has a pattern on it, and we have two different style fonts. Now, the prompt used for this is this one just here. Now, I'm not going to read these, but feel free to pause the video to check these out. Now, like I previously said, all these prompts, or any ideogram prompt for that matter, is always interchangeable, and we can change things out. So with this design, we could change out the quote used, which is highly recommended, and if you are going to use quotes in your designs, always remember to do your own due diligence and check for trademarks. But we can change out the quote, we can change out the animal, we can change out the flowers, and we can change out the colours. So right here, where it says a highland cow with a full shaggy mane and an endearing expression, we could change out the cow for whatever animal that we want. Now right here, it says wearing a bright pink bandana. We could change that to wearing a bright yellow baseball cap. It can be changed out for anything. We can also change out these sunflowers and wildflowers for tulips, daisies, roses, or we could just take them out altogether. Then the quote just here is just a little and moody. So we could grab our own quote, remember to do trademarks, but then we could add part of that quote here and part here. Then we're going to have a completely different prompt, which will get us a different design. But nonetheless, that's the first prompt which I wanted to share with you. Now, the second prompt is this one. I really liked this design as well. This says, feeling crafty. And we have a fox wearing a scarf along with acorns. Now, the prompt used for that is just here. And again, we can change out all of these different things. So we can change out the quote just here. We can change out the animal for a panda a dog, a cat, a cow, a sheep. It can literally be changed out to whatever animal that you want. Then we can change the tail colour. It says orange, we could change that to whatever we want. A cosy scarf, again, can be changed. And everything about this prompt, again, can be changed. But that's the second one. I really liked this design as well. Then the third one is this one, Nana like a normal grandma, only more awesome. Now, if we take a look at the prompt for this, again, we can change out lots of different things. We could change out grandmother. We could change out nana to grandma, grandmother, granddad, papa, and so many other different things. And we have glasses here and a lipstick. We could change this out for a man, and we could change this to normal sunglasses, with a moustache and a mouth. Again, there's so many different things that we can do with these prompts. But that's the third. The fourth is this one, Birthday Diva. And again, you guessed it, all of this is interchangeable. Now, I really liked this design. I really liked the watercolour feel of it. And I really liked the dripping letters just here. But we can play around with the colours, the names, the quotes, and all of that. But nonetheless, that's number four, which I wanted to share. Number five is this one just here, one of my favourite designs, and it says a little rascal. Now, if we take a look at the prompt for this, we can change out the raccoon, we can change out the bandana, we can change out the colours, we could change out the cookie, 
we can change out so many different things. So come through and try this one out as well. This is one of my favorite designs out of all of these 10. Now, all of these prompts were created with my own prompt generators. I've created one for t-shirts and I've actually created one for stickers and they're both GPTs. Now, what I am going to be doing is releasing an ideogram course over the next few weeks. This ideogram course is all about designing with ideogram. And I'm going to be giving away my generators, my prompt generators, within that course. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, then just keep an eye out for my videos over the next couple of weeks. Now, on to number six. And this is just a little bamboozed, a little play on the words, because obviously pandas eat bamboo. But this is just a really nice kind of watercolor design as well. Now, if we take a look at the prompt used, again, we can change out everything about this prompt. We can change out the panda, the flowers, the quote, the colors, and all of that good stuff. And then if we do that, we're going to get a completely different design. But that's number six. Number seven is Fierce and Fabulous. And this was just a really nice design, which I really liked as well. If we take a look at this, again, we can change out the Fierce and Fabulous to whatever design, no, to whatever quote that we want. If you're not good at getting quotes, you can use Kittle's Quote Generator. You can even use ChatGPT. So what you can do is take the quotes from these designs and just plug them into ChatGPT and say, I really like this quote, but can you give me five variations which are similar but different? And then ChatGPT will give you lots of different quotes which you can then use. Just make sure to always check for trademarks if you're going to use quotes in your designs because you don't want to be infringing on someone else's IP. That's intellectual property. But nonetheless, all this can be changed out as well. Then we have number eight just here, Hop Connoisseur. This is one of my favorite designs as well. It's a clean and simple design catered to the older person as well who loves beer. And if we take a look at the prompt just here, we can see what that looks like. We can change out lots of different things. So we could have wine instead. We could have beer cans. We could have a mixture. We could change out the quote. We can change out the colors and just everything about this design. But that's number eight. Number nine, one of my favorites again. Seems like quite a lot of these are my favorites. But this says cult classic 90s kid. Now, this is a really vibrant design, which I really like. This is trying to be a VHS as well, which is more in keeping with the 90s. And if we take a look at the prompt at this, we can see what that looks like. And all this is interchangeable. Again, we could keep the same style, but change out the quote. We could keep the same style, change out the quote, and change out the colors. Again, there's so many different ideas or things that you can do with these prompts. But that's number nine. We're going to move on to the last one, which is number 10, and that's this one just here. This is in the daughter-in-law niche, and I really liked this design. This has a real hand-drawn feel to it, and it says, my daughter-in-law outshines the stars. Then we got all these floral elements, then we have moons and stars and a planet as well. And if we take a look at the prompt, we can see what that looks like. Now, again, the quote is interchangeable. Put in your own quote. Then we can change out the blossoms for different types of flowers as well. And then we can change out the colors. And again, it's going to give us some completely different designs. Now, let's take a look at what these look like all together. These are all 10. We can really see that these are really nice designs. And with different styles, out of all of these, this middle one just here, just a little moody, is my favorite. I really love this design. Now, if you like these prompts and you do want more prompts for print on demand, then don't forget to check out my 100 ideogram prompts freebie down in the description. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please give me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.